guys welcome to the end of the covers channel it's Suzanne here and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite genres and that is sci-fi romance so about six months ago I believe it was I did a video about some of my recommendations and today I'm giving an update on that so I am going to give you some of my favorite sci-fi recommendations do go back and look at the old video because I won't be repeating the books I've already spoken about so I'm going to divide this kind of into two or three sections so the first section is going to be kind of mainstream sci-fi reads as well as some of the books that I haven't got around to reading yet but I will be getting my hands on soon. The second section is going to be sci-fi romance where the hero and heroine are either th human or the aliens are very human-like um, so there's kind of no strange alien appendages or anything weird about it. And then the next and final section is going to be sci-fi alien romance and I'm going to start from um, romances where the alien is a little weird all the way down to where the alien is very very alien just so that I can kind of cover all tastes. So as I said first of all I'm going to start with things that are mainstream or that I haven't read yet. Uh, so I'm going to start with Honour Amongst Thieves by Rachel Kane and Anne Aguirre. So this is a book I read a while ago and it's actually a young adult and it's about a young girl who somehow gets involved in a programme where she has to stay aboard a sentient ship. So the alien is the ship and they've come to earth and every... And every I can't how long, remember how long it is, but every few years um, they take aboard a crew and they go and explore space. So our heroine happens to be upon that crew um, and we get to see her bond with the ship and then obviously there are nefarious things going on. So Honour Amongst Thieves is the first in the series and I can't wait to read the next one. It is really good read. I'm not much of a fan of Young, young Adult, but this one um, was really good. So the next what book is one that I haven't actually read but I really want to read and it's actually quite similar to Honour Amongst Thieves um, and I think I found it by reading other people's review reviews and this book was mentioned. The book I'm talking about is Railhead by Philip Reeve and it's the first in the Railhead series. Um, I've read the blurb and it seems to be about people going aboard sentient trains um, so you can see how it's kind of similar to Honour Amongst Thieves but it's got really good reviews and I really want to give it a shot. So the next uh, series that I want to read is by Laura and Donna and I'm a big fan of hers. Um, I really love her New Species series and I've read all of them and I always wanting more so I see she started a sci-fi series called The Vorge Crew and I haven't started it yet I think the first book is called Cathian but it is on my list and I will get around to it eventually so those are the kind of mainstream or books that I haven't read yet section um, and now I'm going on to the part where kind of the hero and heroine are either human or very very human like um, with a lot of alien sci-fi romances you'll find that the aliens are actually just humans who happen to be a little bit bigger, maybe have slightly different coloured skin, but they're just humans with big muscles. Um, so I'm going to start off with Anna Hackett who is an author who I've absolutely loved recently. So, um, I've actually started, I finished one series of hers and I'm starting on the second. So the series that I have finished I, I highly recommend is the Galactic Gladiator series. The first book is called Gladiator. If you like your romances to be really action-packed full of, adv of adventure um, and has a really kind of involved storyline which will traverse the whole series. This is the one for you. Um, it was really great. The romance wasn't sidelined by any means, however, the action adventure um, was a good part of the story as well. Um, so it is the perfect read if you're kind of just getting into sci fi romance but you don't want anything too strange, and also if you like your um, romances to be very fast paced, I highly recommend it. Um, the series that I've started to read by Hackett is called Hell Squad. So far I've just read the first book and it's called Marcus and I've really enjoyed it. It's very similar to Galactic Gladiators in that 
it's kind of really action paced so the romance and the action get an equal look in in the story um, but I've really enjoyed it and I do plan on moving on to the next book and I believe the second book is called Cruise um, another member of the house squad so I highly recommend Anna Hackett to anyone the next um, author is Sadie Carter so Sadie Carter has got two series, one of which is an offspin of the others. The first series is called Sukonian Warriors. Um, it's I don't think it's a finished series, but it's quite a long one, so you've got a lot to dive into, and it's and it's really good. It's really cute, really funny. Um, I really enjoy the alien guys who, like I said, are kind of just look exactly like humans, only a lot bigger. Um, but it's a really sweet series. It, um, leaves you with a smile on your face so I highly recommend that. Um, the other series that she started which is a spin-off of this um, is called The Sky Warriors. Um, the first book is called Marken and so far it's the only book out in the series but I really enjoyed it, it's so good. Um, the aliens in this, the difference between them and a human is that they have win wings and silver skin and obviously very big and muscular um, so I was really enjoying that. Again it's really sweet and funny as well as having a really good romance in it so those I highly recommend um, you give them a try. So my third section is about my alien. So these are the books where the aliens are distinctly alien and I'm going to take it from the least weird aliens to the most weird aliens so you've got some kind of barometer there um, so I'm gonna start off with a book that I literally finished this morning um, it's called Alien Instinct and it's by Tracy Lauren I believe this may be her debut um, she has another book out which I fully intend to download soon the reason I put this as the least alien is because the hero kind of reminded me of a gargoyle so he had grey stone like skin um, wings and horns so I thought I've read stuff like this before but only in paranormal romance rather than sci-fi romance but it was a great book it was quite it had some really nice light heart moments like mixed in with some action adventure and I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to see what this author brings out next so definitely pick that up it also has a really nice cover so don't be afraid to put it on your kindle the next book is called Saving Ascara by J.M. Link and I love this book it's one of my favorites of this year so the aliens of this they are kind of quite alien and not only in looks but in their culture they're quite aggressive and dominant um, and unsociable and they've just met humans for the first time and we're vastly different so our heroine has to try and grip, um, bridge that gap between us between us and them um, it was, it's a great book and it actually ended on a cliffhanger but I believe Saving Earth the second book in this will be out within the next few days apparently so I can't wait to get my hands on that but if you're after a really good romance where the hero and heroine are completely different then this is definitely one for you um, the next one um, when I first started reading it it is kind of silly but I kind of really I really enjoy it it's called the caveman alien series and the first book is caveman aliens ransom by Callista Skye and it kind of is exactly as the title says it's aliens there are also cavemen um, which I guess is quite similar to Ruby Dixon's Ice Planet Barbarians only in this series they're in a tropical rainforest and there are dinosaurs everywhere um, it's kind of a fun little series which I do enjoy I definitely I read the books as they come out um, the aliens kind of have stripes on them so they look like tigers and they have kind of each tribe of the caveman aliens have different colored stripes um, it's a fun little series it also has curvy heroines in it so each girl is a curvy heroine which is quite nice as well although they've been living on a in a like rainforest for the last I can't remember how long it is six months so they're um, getting a bit fitter now but um, it is a series that I it's a little bit of a guilty pleasure but it is a lot of fun so do give it a go so the next series is by Tiffany Roberts so there's two kind of there's a series and then a standalone that I was going to talk about the standalone is claimed by an alien warrior um, and this is this alien has four arms and four eyes and has scaled so he is very different very noticeably alien however 
once you start reading it and I find this with a lot of the alien sci-fi romances once you start reading it get to know the characters the kind of appearance of the alien doesn't make so much of a difference it's more about the relationship between the hero and heroine um, and this was no different so they were stuck in a car together our heroine, heroine was agreeing to help our hero try to escape the evil humans that were experimenting on him and so they were stuck together so that's that got that like enforced intimacy um, situation going on and it was just really great I really enjoyed it um, it is a standalone as well so you can read this and not have to invest into a series the next series is, the next books, sorry, are a series by, again, by Tiffany Roberts, who is fast becoming one of my favourite authors. Um, and this is her Kraken series. The first one, I believe, is called Treasure of the Abyss. And just like the series name, these aliens, or these heroes, um, are kind of half man. And then instead of legs, they have tentacles. So I have had the other girls on Under the Covers making fun of me for my tentacle porn. However... It is so much more than that. It is a really sweet romance in each book in this series and I really enjoyed it. Each, um, each of them has distinct personalities and you see them overcome different obstacles to be together um, and I really like it. Um, so I highly recommend you give it a try. Do not let the tentacles put you off. Um, at the end of the day, these are just a series of very good romances. Um, next um, is a series which is a bit different because it's actually written by various authors and it's the Velos of Sonhadra. So the aliens in this series, they kind of vary in weirdness, <laughs> I suppose you would say. But it's a really good chance to read a few different sci-fi authors to kind of see who you like. Um, and I've picked up a few authors that I've quite enjoyed from reading this series but you definitely need to give it a go so a bunch of women who are stuck on a prison ship and have been experimented on by the people in the prison ship crash on Sonhadra and then as they're escaping they each kind of fall into different tribes of Velos who are the aliens of that planet and they all have kind of different powers, abilities, skills, however you want to put it, um, which make them look very different. Um, so it's a really great series, there's a lot of scope for more and there are still books coming out in it, in it so I highly recommend this series as well if you want to have a sample of lots of different authors. Um, so the next book um, series, sorry, I've really enjoyed and they're the Office Aliens series by VC Lancaster. So Aliens are coming to Earth because their world's been overtaken and I guess they're refugees and then it, you see them coming into the office environment and trying to mix the humans um, and I just really like enjoyed this concept and it's done really well, it's got some humour, it's got like the clash of human culture and alien culture going on um, and I really enjoyed it, it's definitely worth a try. Um, the aliens in this one that are kind of like lizard-like so they tend to have scales a different colored green um but no it's it's really great so i would definitely give this one a go it's a bit different um i've never read an alien romance set in an office so give it a try another series by vc lancaster which has also got some very alien aliens alien aliens is the roof and gron series so Ruth is a human and Gron is our alien and it, he kind of veers into Bigfoot porn or Bigfoot erotica, however you want to put it. Um, and somehow they get trapped together and then they have to survive. Um, and eventually they get rescued and put back to Gron's homeworld where they've kind of built this bond with one another and it's about those two surviving. Um, it's a really great series, Ruth and Gron are never able to communicate in anything more than body language so they kind of fall in love through their actions so it's a really great series so I highly recommend you give that a go especially if you're after something completely different this will definitely deliver. So the next series are by Susan Trombley so she's got two series that I really like. The first one is a Ridge and Test Subjects um, the first book is called Scorpion's Mate. So as you can guess, the alien is looks like a big scorpion, 
which when I first started I was like I'm never gonna I'll give it a go but it's maybe this is a step too far for me it turned out it wasn't a step too far for me I really enjoyed it like I said earlier once you started reading you kind of see past the appearance and it's more about the romance so I kind of stopped thinking of um the hero as this scorpion alien and I more start to think of him as his has as his self so it was a really great book um and there's a series of it the second book is called the Kraken's Mate and it was just as good so the other series that Susan Trombley does is Into the Deadfall the first book is also called Into the Deadfall and it's actually um the second book in the Scorpion's Mate if you get the Kindle book of the Scorpion's Mate Into the Deadfall is the second book in that file um, and I really enjoyed that. So a human falls into a portal into an alien world where she is saved by this kind of Leonine alien. And then kind of things go from there. So again, they learn to survive together in this really hostile environment. So it was a really great series, start to the series. And the second book, Key to the Deadfall, was also really great, despite the slightly dodgy cover. Um, so finally, we have Arlie Smith. So a lot of people have talked about The Last Hour of Garn, which I've tried to read and I actually didn't like. Um, however, I did read Cottonwood and I really liked it. I don't know why I really liked this but could not get into The Last Hour of Garn, but I really, really enjoyed it. So aliens have crashed on Earth and we have put them into... I don't want to say concentration camps, but they're basically living in sectioned off areas which have come into big dumps and humans are doing terrible things while the rest of humanity is ignoring it, um, kind of calling them derogatory names um, and trying to just forget about them. Um, the reason that it's so easy to do this is because they look like bugs. Um, so they're called like cockroaches and the bugs and stuff and people just kind of ignore them and assume that other people are looking after them when they're not. So this was a really great story. Um, it was a little bit of romance, a little bit of action adventure and it was actually a really emotional read um, as we watch and kind of this naive heroine going in to try and help them and then realising what's really going on and then try to help them escape all the while she is kind of falling in love with one of them um, and he has his adorable little son there as well so it's a really great book um, it's a standalone so I highly recommend you give it a go um, so if like me you've read, read The Last Hour of Gone, Gone by Arlie Smith but didn't like it I would recommend you read Cottonwood because it was really great so those are all my recommendations. Um, I haven't mentioned Ruby Dixon who's had a few new books out but I feel like I should give her an honourable mention being as she is the person that got me into sci-fi romance. So she has got her new series Ice Home um, with the first books Veronica's Dragon so please give that a go if you like her Ice Planet Barbarian series. She's also had a few releases in her Corsair series um, where we get to see the crew of the lovesick fool fall in love with their humans. Um, so that's kind of finished now, but I'm hoping that she'll do a spin-off. Um, so those are all my recommendations. If you have any recommendations for me, please, please let me know. I am always after some more sci-fi alien romance. Um, so let me know in the comments. If you've loved any of the books or not liked any of the books that I've mentioned, please let me know. And don't forget to follow us on social media and visit the blog at undercoversbookblog.com. Thanks for listening.